back to my channel. So I'm sure by now you can tell that this tutorial is going to be a little bit different. This is the full face highlighter only challenge. I'm sure you guys know the backstory by now. It's all over the place. But basically this girl Miriam here on YouTube created a video using only highlighters for her makeup and it went completely viral. And then Jeffree Star and Nikki Tutorials here on YouTube decided to make it a challenge. And so I was like, hmm, I kind of really want to do this and I was nervous because I didn't know how it's going to come out because I'm a little bit tanner and I have um, texture on my skin and I'm also really oily so I was like, oh, is this going to be chaotic? Is this going to be a mess? But then I did this look and I actually kind of like it. I'm not going to lie. I think it came out pretty cool. So yeah, this isn't to be taken seriously. It's just for fun. I only did my eyebrows and then a little bit of concealer but I consider that highlighting technically and then just mascara and eyeliner so I tried to stay true to the challenge as much as I could. Also please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not and also please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it for more challenge videos. If you want to see how to get this everyday makeup look then just keep watching. Hey guys, so I'm starting with a bare face. All I have on are my eyebrows and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow for this. So next I'm taking my Kevin Aquan Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting Illuminator for all over my face as a base. And then I'm taking my Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I consider this highlighting and I just wanted to cover up my dark circles. So I'm just using this under the eyes and I'm taking a Sigma F86 brush just to blend that out. And then I'm taking my Sigma highlighter and I'm praying to God that this won't look ridiculous. And I'm just using that under the eyes and on the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin just to bring light to the center of the face, including the under eyes, which is not normal for me, but just for the sake of this video, I figured why not. And then I took a damp beauty blender just to blend everything out because it was looking a little bit cakey. So now taking my Benefit WhatsApp highlighter, I was putting this on the tops of my cheekbones and the bridge of my nose and all the highlighting points, and then I figured why not bring this under the eyes directly as well. And then I blended all of this out with a beauty blender. So then I decided to spray my beauty blender with MAC Fix Plus just to give it a little bit more of a glow and also to blend everything out a little easier. And then I went back in with the concealer just to cover up this blemish I had. So now I'm taking this Kevin Aquan um, Neo Bronzer kind of contour palette. I'm taking the lightest shade that has a little bit of shimmer in it and a Sigma highlighter brush to set my under eyes in all of the areas that I highlighted. And then I realized I should have set it after because I was still working with creams but it still worked out fine. So I took this Marc Jacobs glow stick and I literally applied this all over my face and then blended it out with a beauty blender. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and this has shimmer in it so I'm just using this to bake under my eyes just a little bit. So now I'm taking this Physicians Formula Highlighter and I'm taking a Sigma Large Powder Brush and I'm just applying this all over my face to set the glow stick. And also I'll leave all the products and brushes used below so you guys can check that out in the description box. And then I'm using the same brush to kind of sweep away the baking under the eyes. So now taking this bronze shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, That Glow Glow Kit, I'm taking this Sigma F05 brush and I'm just contouring or more so bronzing the face because this does have shimmer in it. And I never really use it as a bronzer, I just didn't really use that shade but I think it looks really pretty actually for the summer. So then I use the shade Dripping in Gold in the palette with the Sigma highlighter brush to set under my eyes. So now I'm taking the shade Sunburst and Bubbly from the palette. I'm mixing them together with my Morphe M501 brush and I'm just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, Cupid's bow, everything pretty much because this is the whole point of this challenge. So, so now I'm taking this cream eyeshadow and this is by Star Looks in the shade Rose Gold. I got this in my Ipsy bag and it's really shimmery so I apply this onto my eyelids as a base and I just blended it out. So now using the Champagne Pop by Becca and Jaclyn Hill, just using my finger, I'm applying this all over my lid to go over top the base. And then taking my Sigma E40 brush, I'm taking the bronze shade from the That Glow palette um, and I'm just using this in my crease. So the same color I used to bronze my face. So taking the same bronzy shade with a Sigma pencil brush, I'm just using this to smoke out the lower lash line. And then using a different pencil brush with these two shades from the palette that I used to highlight, I'm going to put this in my inner corner for an inner corner highlight. 
And then taking my Champagne Pop Highlighter, I'm just gonna use this to highlight all over my face as well. And then taking my Sigma Medium Sweeper Brush, I'm using the same shades I use for my inner corner highlight for my brow bone highlight. And then the only two non-highlighter uh, products that I use are my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner and then my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. So now I'm taking my House of Beauty Lip Hybrid in the shade Champagne. I got this in my Ipsy bag. This is the coolest thing ever. It's super metallic, so I used a Morphe lip brush with this, and I just applied it onto my lips, and then that's it for this look. I wanted to make sure everything is really shimmery, so it's not specifically highlighters for the entire look, but it's all shimmers, and it creates a highlighted effect for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and if you're new, uh, this is awkward. Hi. Yes. Hey guys.